What's happening my Jack family? Coach Scott here, Jacked After 40.com and Shredded After 40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life Vlog. I've got another great one coming at you today. Gonna to be sharing footage from my leg workouts this week. Every delicious meal that I eat for the day. We're gonna have a discussion, an important discussion on why you never know what you got until it's gone. I hope you join in on the conversation and if you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get to the footage. Got the fireplace kicking to warm us up after that brisk morning walk. Man, was it ever chilly out there today. Definitely feeling like winter is on the way. I had to bundle up there. Starting our walk in the dark, but man, was it ever gorgeous to see those pastel colors in the clouds, the sky there, uh, as the sun was about to rise. Just a very peaceful morning, really grounded in the moment. Love starting my day with that morning sunrise walk. Uh, I wish the sunrise was a little bit earlier, but I mean, I'll take it. It's kind of nice walking in the dark at times as well. Start of the day right around five o'clock as always. No alarm. Um, waking up on my own. Had an incredible sleep last night. Uh, it's been a great week of sleep altogether. Getting in at least eight, eight and a half hours of sleep. Um, sometimes even a little bit more. I'm spending a little bit more time in bed sleeping. Uh, knowing that I've been waking up uh, frequently throughout the night. Whenever I toss and turn, my ribs are still a bit sore, um, causing a little bit of pain in the middle of the night. So uh, just making sure I'm getting enough sleep and making up for those little interruptions. More on that in a bit. Uh, again, as always, start my day with two cups of coffee, a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk in there. Love this new coffee mug. Noelle and I went, to, went and saw Dune uh, the other day and uh, we had some sushi for dinner. Uh, Kona Sushi, absolutely freaking delicious. Normally we go to Nigo Sushi, but Kona Sushi just opened up nearby and um, thought we'd give it uh, another try there. It was freaking awesome. But after the movie, we went shopping at Indigo and I saw this coffee mug, the little things in life. And man, is that not the truth? It's, uh, I'm telling you, I value, there's nothing, the little things in life always bring me the, the greatest joy. So really great to, to pick up that mug and, and enjoy some tasty coffee with that. Right now, I am on to my morning breakfast shake. As always, one cup of homemade kefir, one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, an acid of spinach, a banana, scoop of protein powder, and a tablespoon of premium raw black maca powder from the maca team. Link down below, optimizing my male hormone health. Absolutely love this product. So looking forward to savoring every sip of this and then get on my day training my clients and uh, looking forward to bringing you along for the adventure. Had an absolute blast training my client, then stopped off here at Starbucks to grab a blonde Americano Mista while I upload the November Jacked After 40 Club workout plan. Damn, am I ever stoked for this one. It is a six day pull, push, leg hybrid split. I'm not gonna be in the gym six days per week, uh, likely keep it to five days a week. I find that's when I recover best. So just rotating through the workouts in order there. I'm really hoping my ribs are, are healed up by then because I just, I am chomping at the bit to jump on this plan. It's been great uh, doing the full, the uh, sorry, body part split routine for the past couple of months, past couple of weeks, just been training legs. We're gonna get more of that in a minute. Getting ready to hit the gym now. Gonna get some footage for you there. Another kick ass workout in the books. And by kick ass, I don't mean beating myself into the ground and absolutely crushing every set. I mean like, being picky and choosy, smart with when I take a set to momentary muscular failure, giving my absolute best freaking effort, just listening to my body and uh, doing what's best. Today was a hamstring focused workout. Uh, so once again, for the past two weeks, what's been going on since injuring my ribs playing hockey and my wrist playing hockey, been uh, alternating between quads one day, hamstring the next day, calves every day. Uh, usually just one calf exercise and a tibialis anterior exercise. Uh, and it's been going incredibly well. So just picking two, sometimes three exercises. Uh, today for hamstrings, I did the single leg curl. I did the inner thigh machine and I did the leg press with my feet high on the platform in just a little bit more narrow than shoulder width apart. Little brief pause in the bottom. So a little bit extra emphasis on the glutes with that. Uh, 
uh, position on the platform there. It's not, it doesn't change it to a hamstring exercise or anything like that. It's still a quad exercise for the most part. So I gotta be careful with how I place that in my weekly programming uh, to make sure that my quads are going to be recovering between workouts since I'm going back and forth. Again, the volume is very manageable. I'm not crushing high volume each workout, just a nice light, moderate volume, but um, being smart with exercise selection there as well. So it's been going great. So overall, exercise-wise, between those exercises, I, today I did seated calf raises. I just make sure that I don't do seated calf raise on quad day because the quads are just so pumped and it's pumped and it's hard to get the, the thighs underneath the platform. The thighs end up burning. You're feeling, you're focused on that rather than focusing on uh, on the quad burn there. So uh, usually on, uh, on quad day, I'll do like standing calf raises or like uh, calf press something along that line where um, not not going to be distracted by the burning sensation in the quads uh, other than that so seated leg curls another one I've got in there that I haven't been doing the laying leg curl that kind of uh, affects my wrist a bit uh, I've been doing some 45 degree uh, hyper extensions for the glute hamstring focused I've been doing some hip thrust again glute focused but also hamstrings when I'm going deeper in that movement for the quads leg extension um, hack squat has been phenomenal but doing some higher repetitions with that now what I've been noticing for the past couple of months is when I'm doing leg press and hack squats, any like big compound movement for the legs where it's higher repetitions, I'd say anything more than 12 reps, it takes me a long time to recover between sets. Like we're talking like four minutes, five minutes, and even sometimes after five minutes, my quads are still freaking burning. So uh, I've gotta be smart with that programming. What I There's two options with that. One is to take that full rest, rest for five minutes between sets, uh, but only do a few exercises in that uh, that workout so it's not taking up just a boatload of time in there. Uh, the other option is to just focus on last set, best set. And like, what I mean with taking that four to five minutes between rest, going close to failure with each and every set. So we're talking like three reps in the tank for the first set, two reps in the tank for the second set, all out failure on the last set. Like even with three reps in the tank, I require a lot of rest between sets when I'm doing like more than 12 repetitions. Less than 12 repetitions, I find I'm, I'm less than 10. I can recover a little bit quicker from that where the burning sensation isn't, I'm not waiting for that to subside and I can still give my best effort to the next set. Um, so that is the one option. The other option is to go with the last set, best set, where the first two sets are like far from failure, just treating them as a warm up, and then the last set, you know, all out freaking effort. So those first two warm up sets, maybe looking at 90 seconds rest between sets is is going to be more than enough, and then you just freaking crush that last set. So those are some options that looking at again, paying attention, really being aware of my volume with my training lately, how I recover between sets, when when I can intelligently train close to failure or to failure uh, with my sets. So it's all a continue, continuous learning and growing experience. It's evolving as we're going along and paying attention to how our body's responding. So that's been great. More insights coming up after my post-workout meal. Time for my post-workout meal. I've got four free-range eggs, my friend's local farm. Those hens are loved, and happy hens produce some incredibly delicious eggs. I've got some mixed veggies here, topped with some pink Himalayan salt, a little bit of ground black pepper. In the bowl, I got two third cup oats, 140 grams of frozen mixed berries, and a tablespoon of the morning motivator from the Maca team. Again, link down below in the description. This is freaking delicious. Again, optimizing our male hormone health, uh, but when you add, it's got 10 grams of Maca in here. It's a blend of yellow, black, and red maca powder. It's also got some raw cacao powder and raw uh, coconut sugar, which makes it absolutely freaking delicious. Some raw mesquite and some raw lacuma in there as well. So I really love adding that to my oats or my Greek yogurt, sometimes to my shake as well instead of the black maca powder. Just great to, I mean, black maca powder is best for us men over 40 to optimize our male hormone health, but there's some benefits. The red maca powder, great for our prostate health, and yellow maca powder, powder just general um, overall hormone optimization as well. But um, delicious, so good for us. I'm just really looking forward to diving into this meal here. But first I wanna talk a little bit about, so 
Last Monday, almost two weeks ago, went into the boards hard. If you didn't watch uh, last weekend's Jack the Tory Life vlog, uh, injured my ribs, injured my wrists. I did get an x ray. I didn't get an x ray. I went to the doctor. He said no x ray was needed. He knew the ribs weren't broken. He said they might be cracked, might just be bruised, might be the muscles between the, the intercostal muscles there between the ribs. Uh, but he's like, it, it didn't require an x ray. Just give it time to heal. Um, and like I said in last week's video, it was all about, I mean, looking for the opportunity in any challenge that we're presented with. And this is a great opportunity for me to focus on building my legs and my calves. Calves can definitely use it, legs can definitely use it. So really using an opportunity to focus, like seeing the good and the potential that can come from this experience. And uh, I'm gonna share, Mark, um, Aaron, uh, shared a, a quote from Marcus Aurelius in the Jacked After 40 Club as we were talking about like seeing the opportunities in these challenges and this it just couldn't have been more perfect for this situation. So the quote is the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. And then Aaron goes on to say if we can embrace the conflict in life and that it's happening as it should we can continue overcoming and growing. Let's finish this here strong one day at a time. And that just, that's exactly it. Like so many of us, we see the challenges. Oh man, this is stopping of us. It's like, it's a setback. People see it as a setback and we're like, no, this challenge is actually moving you forward. Like this is the way for you to grow. This is the way for you to become what you're meant to become. So that has been my approach throughout. Like anytime I really get injured, that's my approach during the whole lockdown with the gyms last year. Um, so it's it's really great to kind of shift that perspective, shift that mindset. And it's really great to see that Aaron, Mario, there's some others in the group who are really into stoicism. So just these gentle reminders of the importance of that. But that was my focus last week and this week it's kind of shifted perspectives even, even more so and really looking at it from the perspective of you really, I mean, I, I practice gratitude on a daily basis but you truly don't know what you have until you lose it and that's in all aspects of life really. But here I am, it's not just can I not train my upper body? Like I love the upper body pump. Like I am missing the arm pump. I'm missing the chest pump. I'm missing working my back. I was really in a great groove with my training. And when it's taken away from me, I'm like, man, I didn't realize how much I loved training my upper body. Just how much I enjoy the training experience overall. Yes, I'm making the most of the situation. Yes, I'm focused on building my legs. There's lots of opportunity from this, but I miss training my upper body. I miss that experience. It's taken away from me and I'm missing those experiences. But it's not just the training, it's everyday life. Like if I go to pick something up, it's it grabs me. Like I got that, the pain is just underneath the pec here and the rib just along the side. Um, I mean, just walking, when I'm out from my walk, it's just walking with pain like I don't need to be twisting I don't need to be moving to feel that discomfort in my chest in that rib area and just you kind of miss walking pain free like just going through your day pain free and just having the mobility that I can normally do there's things that I just I got to be careful with certain movements that I do even sleeping like I mentioned earlier I'm having some interrupted sleep because I roll over on my side and I just feel that discomfort in my chest so I miss having a, a quality sleep, an uninterrupted night of sleep. So you don't know what you got until it's gone. Like I, I was getting some great quality uninterrupted sleep. Now I'm experiencing some interrupted sleep. So I don't know what you got till it's gone. So just, it's just that reminder to really make the most out of what we have because you never know when it's gonna be taken away from you. It might just be, I mean, we're not talking just life and Unfortunately, this was this is a a powerful reminder for me. One of my friends who I went to grade school with, her husband was out walking uh, almost two weeks ago in the evening, side of the road, and got hit by a car and lost his life. My age, out for a walk, something that's a normal routine for him, and. He's no longer here with us. It breaks my heart. My friend's been posting pictures of her husband, like multiple posts throughout the day, her and her children. Just, she's celebrating his life, which is really, I think that's a great, I, I, I think it's not only a good way to help a reminder 
to help you get through these tough and challenging times. I really can't imagine. My heart breaks for her, for her kids, for her family, for his family. Um, I'm sure none of them, when they woke up that morning, ever imagined like that would be his last day with us here. Um, but yeah, we got to celebrate our life while it's here and then celebrate life afterwards. Um, it's just, it's priceless, it's precious. And But we're not just talking that, we're just talking our abilities. You never know, like simple little activities that you do through life, simple little chores, everyday chores, can become a challenge as we age. So it's up to us to make the most out of the abilities that we have right now in this moment, giving the best of ourselves to each and every moment. Like taking it in, like our eyesight isn't going to be 100% for the rest of our life. So like looking, I'm looking outside right now, looking at the gorgeous scenery, seeing the waves rolling up. Take that in, don't let those moments go. Don't let them pass you by without soaking it right up. So try not to be distracted. There's so many different things that are pulling our attention, grabbing for our attention, but focus on the beauty that's right in front of us. All right, that's enough of my rant for right now. I'm gonna dive into this post-workout meal, get on to more footage coming up soon. Dinner is looking absolutely freaking magnificent here. We've got some smoked salmon, little uh, blackened pepper on top there. Crab cake from uh, Metro, stuffed mushroom cap that I pick up from there, as well as some asparagus. This is looking freaking mouth-watering. Can't wait to dive into it. Chiefy Dog is chomping at the bit as well. This is one of his favorite meals. He loves the salmon, especially the skin. I hear it's good for his fur coat there. So we're gonna dive into this, get on with our evening. Dinner was freaking amazing, absolutely delicious. Now it's time for Chief and I to work off that meal, get out for our evening walk. That was a fantastic evening walk by Furry Homie Chiefy Dog, but man, did it ever get dark in a hurry? We left here, there's still some decent daylight left, but by the time we got back, there was none. It was dark. Just been going through my evening wind down routine since then, been icing the ribs, just taking it easy, and Chief was letting me know that it is, it's time to call it a night. He's got his head buried under the bed here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, the training footage, the discussion, the meals for the day. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's vlog, please do me a favor and share it with them. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your feedback, share your insights. I can't wait to hear from you. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.